Well, Houston, we got a problem. And Thor has been here investigating and checking with me. No, hey, it's already damaged. Uh, before I started this channel, or right about the same time, Mr. Allen and I was working on his Corvette, and he 3D printed some things, and uh, these old John Deere's down on transmission have a real flimsy plastic, yellow, whitish looking fan. Anyhow, it give up, and this thing would not steer, because you got to have this is a uh, SST-16, which they call this the spin steer technology. Now, you're looking at a 90, probably 7, 98, and they quit making it and went to the two lever. This thing steers off of these diaphragms, which work each axle separate. And uh, I see that diaphragm over there. Uh, I may have to pull it apart. I replaced this one. In 2019, and yes, four years of neglect, shame on me. That's what come out of here. Not the mower deck, but out of here. Now, Joseph, uh, you're going to be watching this video. You're going to say, man, don't you ever take care of your mowers? Well, you know, with the bride, sick with the cancer and stuff, I neglected. I'd religiously wash the deck. But, you know, never did pull off the big old body every year like you're supposed to. So she's going to get a nice old clean. I'm not going to power wash it, but uh, give her a good bath. Got it all blown out down here. And uh, I have a feeling that diaphragm is shot. They're notorious. But anyhow, Alan printed me this. And I can see what happened here is this actuator arm right here and then this has been gnawed off and uh, so we get it fit down in here and I can tell that we need about another 12 millimeter what got taken off get it up above that actuator arm so I'm getting with him for a 3D print it make a few modifications and uh but other than that, yeah, four years. And definitely got to have them. Got another issue uh, over here. Maybe you guys got... I'm going to run down my neighbor. But I'm getting a parasitic draw through this wire that goes up here to the uh, coils, to the pair, and don't know why. There is a short somewhere in this line... And I've been chasing. I took out uh, the uh, circuit uh, breakers yesterday, the relays. Checked them against a brand new one. And this one here as well. But I'm getting a parasitic draw on this right here. And it should not constantly feed when the battery's in. New uh, starter solenoid didn't make a bit of difference. So uh, if y'all run into this situation and you're getting power constant, battery switch off, it shouldn't uh, have power to it running up here. I don't know, I don't have a wiring schematic. So this is gonna be a short for Bears Rod Shop BRS and been a die heart, uh, keep the oil changed. Thought it was a starter, but uh, we took another one that I have and this is 99 starter and I had a uh, 2002 identical to it it's not drawing on the starter it's just drawing on this white lead which goes up here to us uh, right here this is the stop start of the mower deck so got to do some more investigation and I hadn't been doing the videos lately got a lot's going on got interiors to finish up Got to get this mower going because the grass is uh, about four inches, five inches tall out there. And uh, But anyhow, this is the low style steering, spin steer technology. Carroll fix all. If you ever go over to Terrell's, he pinpointed it one time at way down in there. Those two switches, the springs would break. Fortunately, my springs have never broke. There's two springs. Can't hardly see them switches, but if you go to his channel, 
a five dollar spring fixed his this diaphragm when we had uh, a good president in in our white house i think it was 49 dollars. it's probably 249 now for that one so we'll find out and uh anyhow bears rod shop we're out here for the 18th of uh, may wish us luck we got to get mowing but i gotta quit doing this i gotta get this thing down every year good lord willing and the creek don't rise we're out of here